Recently, the state reported some sizable revenue windfalls. So is the city of Albuquerque experiencing the same thing. News 13's Diana Salceda is in the Newsplex to explain. Well, Jessica, unlike the state, Albuquerque number crunchers tell us the city's revenues are modest compared to the state, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. People working at the city planning office say there used to be lines out the door for building permits back in 2005 and 2006, but that hasn't been the case since the economy tanked. There is some good news on the building front in the short term. Permitting doubled earlier this year. In the first quarter, 200 permits were issued, 400 in the second quarter. But that's far shy of the 2,000 per quarter during the building boom. We're doing okay. Uh, not doing great, but I, I'm not concerned that things are going to get worse. I think we've bottomed. Uh, and we're beginning to see it just climb out of that trough. Lou Hoffman is the city treasurer. He says there are some pluses in Albuquerque's economy. Since the first of the year, all business sectors are moving up. This is purchasing activity by consumers in the city of Albuquerque. Mayor Barry today pulled out his tracking of gross receipt taxes for the last fiscal year that ended June 30th. The city had projected about 3.5% growth and probably will be about half percent below that. It could have been much worse. Mayor Barry says he saw problems about mid-year and adjusted with a hiring freeze and cuts in department spending. We were conservative on our estimates. We ran a tight ship fiscally last year and it puts us in good shape. Now, one of the reasons the city just isn't seeing windfalls like the state's $87 million jackpot is because Albuquerque doesn't benefit from the same level of property taxes or oil and gas revenues. Jessica. Well, Mayor Barry says he is actually projecting less growth in gross receipts taxes for 2012, 2.9%, primarily because of the budget debate now going on in Washington. New Mexico has lost more than 14,000 jobs over the past five years. We're one of the 24 states that dropped in professional and business jobs, such as accounting, advertising, and law enforcement. The worst state was Florida, which lost almost 144,000 jobs. Texas added the most, almost 85,000.